hi, Benny. Uh-uh, don't touch, please. You want to say hi? You want to come up? This is my life now. <laughs> Jack got no pants on. He did have pants, but he took them off. Most days are spent pantless. Um, Jack's going to have a birthday um, on the 18th, and it's March the 2nd, and he's going to be two. How crazy is that? I've been trying to do Lucy's three month update for a while, or like some kind of update. I figured, um, you know, I wasn't going to be doing monthly updates, but. I'm gonna try and do them at three months, six months, nine months, and 12, even though she's three and a half months old right now. Well, almost four months, let's be real. She's almost four months old. <laughs> and this is gonna be her first update. will take a passy. Jack never did but Lucy will and it is nice. Um, it is nice because I can soothe her. Okay Jack can you stop playing with that please? All done. Yeah. So let's start from the beginning. Um, wow I apologize for Jack but He doesn't really nap anymore. Um, like, yeah, hardly ever. Most days he doesn't nap. So there's really no time that I can do this without him. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, baby. Let's sing together. So everything's kind of like written in my notes, but. It's not organized like it was with Jack's <laughs> second child issue. Let's just break it up into sections. Like, oh, she's getting, yeah, she's tired. So sleeping. Um, we've co-slept from day one. I co-slept co with Jack and I loved it. We both slept the best that way. Um, and we've been doing really good. Except we've, um, I think we've definitely hit the four month sleep regression. She used to, sleep great she would still wake twice a night but i mean it was fine and now she wakes i don't even know how many times like a lot like a lot a lot and it's hard because i still have a toddler to care for in the day um so it's not like i can nap when it comes to naps we're not really on a routine or a schedule or anything like that and i feel like by this point with jack he was definitely napping in his crib she has never napped in her crib but she's not like a super needy baby i think with jack he spent a lot of time in my arms and napped on me she does not nap on me very often nighttime she definitely has her witching hour and around like 7 30 8 30 she starts getting cranky and i usually had to like hold her nurse her or rock her to sleep um i al i always nurse her like when she wakes and then sometimes i'll have to nurse her for her to go to sleep but most times she'll fall asleep on her own um and she's very independent like which is so nice because i have a toddler she's not super needy now I, of course she does have her days and her you know cranky days but it's, she, overall she is such a chill baby ever since she's been born uh oh i think she she's turning in you guys <laughs> which means she wants to go to sleep let's see ah that's not her hair okay on a perfect night she'll go down 7 30 8 o'clock but <laughs> sometimes it's not till 10 or 11. Okay, okay, should we try this again? I had to nurse her. Jack has finally left the room, so maybe we can 
get this done when she was born like probably newborn to a month month and a half she had a super gurgly tummy um, every time she ate you could just hear her belly was rumbling and gurgling and it was a lot and I don't remember that happening with Jack and it might have related back to our um, nursing issues which I'll get to in a second. She started smiling, loves her swing, loves her bouncer, just like Jack did. She loves the bath. Um, we had our first Christmas. Um, she sleeps with me in bed, blah, blah, blah. I already talked about all that. A witching hour in the evening, um, which, which is hard because that usually happens around 7.30, 8 o'clock, right when I'm about to put Jack to bed. So Jack goes to bed anywhere between eight and nine I try to get him down eight but sometimes it's not till nine depends on if he naps if he naps he don't want to go to bed till like I don't know never um, but he he is up late but he sleeps in until like at least nine o'clock um, longer if I don't get it I usually get him up at nine I know this is not about Jack but it all relates <laughs> um, so and she usually sleeps in until um, sometimes she'll wake 7 30 8 o'clock or 8 30 sometimes 9 like there's no really routine at all um and so yeah that's the hardest part when i'm trying to get that's the hardest part when i'm trying to get jack in bed she is crying and jack is upset because he don't want to go to bed so i usually because Byron works a lot, so I solo parent a lot with two under two, like all day, all night kind of thing, uh, which is hard, but you know, we gotta do what you gotta do. So I will put her in her swing, and if she's crying, like, honestly, there's, there's nothing I can really do. I just try and get Jack in bed as fast as I can, and then I'll go pick her up and nurse her and then that's fine. But some t some night she's crying in her swing when I'm trying to get Jack to bed. And I, unless you have like better suggestions, I would love to hear it. But that's what I have to do. At three months, she started looking at her hands. And even now she spends like a lot of time just staring at her hands and now her feet as well. Oh, what's wrong? Overall, she is like a really chill baby. She never cries, only when she's hungry and or wants to sleep right right now. I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, she started teething at three months old. We were actually in the city. Um, that first night we were there, um, her cheeks were so red and she started like gnawing on her hands, which she still do a lot of, she still does that a lot. Um, but she was pretty cranky, um, but she started drooling a lot. Jack never really did drool, like soak his clothes drool. And she does like the poor thing. Her clothes is always wet. Okay, so let's talk about nursing because this one is a mouthful. Um, so we, I breastfeed, um, exclusively breastfeed. She will take a bottle, which is so nice. Jack never did take a bottle. He would just, he would not have it at all. She will. So that is awesome. My milk supply came in around like mm, three days postpartum, I think. Um, and I had a really good supply. Everything was going great. So ever since she was born, when she's nursing, she clicks. She don't do it so much anymore like rarely um but for a long time she clicked and it, it's like when they break section they'll be they'll be nursing and then they'll break section and like it just breaks the seal and it makes like a clicking sound um and she would be continuously clicking throughout the whole nursing session i do have a strong letdown um so i think i was thinking that was why um and i also couldn't get a very good a very deep latch with her I always had to like um, I would latch her on and then I would like pull her lip, top lips up and then try and get her lip, bottom lips down as well so I, I feel like we had a shallow latch as well um, and then at six weeks I started getting really sore um, and it was just one side and I was thinking it was just like maybe a bad latch but then it went to the other side and it was really painful I 
it was cracked and bleeding and I was pumping and it it was rough um, every time she latched on oh my gosh it was so painful but I continued to nurse um, and I would pump every once in a while just to kind of like give myself a break because with a pump I can control like how much suction there is um, but her like it was so painful I went to see the, a lactation consult and she told me that she had a, a tongue tie she does have a top lip tie as well but i feel like most babies do have some sort of lip tie jacked it to um but it was never an issue and usually um they fall down and it breaks it's kind of gross but it's true jack broke fell down and broke his like twice at like uh, yeah like ugh, ugh, gross anyways so I wasn't worried about that, but she said she had a tongue tie. And when she told me that, I was so upset because that is a huge deal. Well, to me, anyways. Um, like I said, she had, she did have a shallow latch, and I, and I was thinking that was the issue, but she told me she had a tongue tie. Um, and she told me I had a bad latch as well. She told me to like bring her up more to my breast instead of me trying to lean over and get my baby in her mouth to bring her up. Um, and she just gave me a couple tips for getting a better latch. So I went home um, and it got better. Um, I don't know if, I think it cleared up um, almost fully and then I, I would get really sore again. Um, so January the 3rd, I don't know how old she was then. Must have been, well, two months. At two months, I noticed she had white on her lips, um, and it was just on her lips, not in her mouth or on her tongue. So I texted my doula and asked her if it was thrush. Um, I knew what thrush was. I well, I've heard of it anyway, so I just sent her a picture and asked her, and she didn't know. So I went to see her um, the next day, and she said that she definitely had a tongue tie. Um, and I, I just, she didn't say she had thrush or not. Um, she just said that she had a tongue tie. So I was really upset and overwhelmed because um, I was talking to a couple moms who had um, their baby's tongue tied, snipped, and it's, it's, I, don't, I just couldn't imagine. I just couldn't imagine. So I booked an appointment to go see an orthodontist. We went and I couldn't get in with him until January the 16th. So that whole time I was sore, but it, it would come and go. Like I would get really sore for a few days and then I, I would be fine. And then it would get really sore for a few days. Um, and I was, I was still cracking. Not, I wasn't bleeding, I don't think t only a couple times. Um, and then I was also peeling. Um, but there wasn't really much in her mouth. Ooh, I forgot to mention one thing. So for the first month, she had a diaper rash. Um, and I could not get rid of it, which was so strange because Jack never really did have di diaper rashes and still don't. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a diaper rash. He's chased, he's chafed a couple times, but never like an actual diaper rash. So I, I was using like, I would try something, I was switching up products and nothing was clearing it up except for like giving her baths often. Um, so I thought that was really strange but I didn't know that that could be a sign of thrush. And she never really did have any white patches in her mouth, only a little bit on her lips. Um, so I took her to the um, orthodontist and um, I'm just making sure I'm staying on track here. Um, he said her lip tie didn't seem severe enough to cut uh, or to snip. They well, they lasered here where I, where I am, anyways, um, which is a lot better than snipping because the laser like kind of like heals and seals the wound as it um, snips it. Um, he said that usually babies that he snips their tongue ties, the mom is in a lot of pain. And I was, but only at times, like it would kind of come and go. So I explained to him that I was thinking it was thrush and he agreed with me. Um, I think I must have went back to public health. I'm so confused. 
I think I went back to public health and I told her about the diaper rash and she told me that the diaper rash could be a sign of thrush. So then when I seen the orthodontist, I told him that about the thrush and we both agreed that it was probably the thrush that was making me sore. So I had her ap appointment at um, my family doctor, I think it was another two month appointment. I, you guys, like the timeline's really blurry. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so after I seen the orthodont orthodontist, I went and took her to my family doctor for a two month checkup and I mentioned thrush to her and she told me she did not have thrush. So I felt very confused and like frustrated because I was in a lot of pain, but I couldn't figure out why. It just seemed like a lot more than just a bad latch. Um, the orthodontist said she didn't have a tongue tie. The doctor said she didn't have thrush. So like I asked her like why am I so sore then? Why am I in so much pain? And she gave me a cream, a nipple cream. Um, but I was like okay well why do I need, need, like what is this for? Like if I don't have thrush why do I need a cream? So anyways I didn't fill it. <laughs> because if I didn't have, th I don't know. I just didn't fill, I didn't fill the cream but I would get so sore and I was in so much pain um, and I finally gave up and I filled it at um, I filled it on February the 6th she was three months three months old and it finally cleared up so for like a whole month and a half I was in a lot of pain I was cracked and bleeding and it was just not fun she was spinning up a lot she was clicking a lot couldn't get a good latch so it was just really frustrating not knowing why I was in so much pain, um, but I really do believe it was thrush, even though like her mouth wasn't really, really white, like it was just on her lips a little bit. She had a diaper rash the first month and then um, when I was sore like between one half to three months, she didn't have a diaper rash, she just had a little bit of white on her, um, on her lips. So. There wasn't clear signs of thrush, but I think what was happening was we were passing it back and forth and it was like a mild version um, because after I used that nipple cream, even for like a day, like two days, I w it, it cleared up and I healed and we haven't had a hitch since. So it, I think, well, that was February the 6th, so it's been a month and we finally are enjoying breastfeeding again. It's not painful. I've healed. <laughs> so much better um i did try pumping yesterday my sister watched both my kids and it was sad <laughs> like i yeah i don't know if my supply is low but i could not pump very much which is sad she's trying really hard to roll over she loves sitting up she loves watching jack play jack loves her they are doing so good together um he wasn't really jealous at all except for sometimes when i'm nursing her or Sometimes he's just really like um, needy, like he just wants, I think, more attention. I think that's what it is, is he wants, yeah, just my attention more. But he's so good with her, he's so gentle, he kisses her all the time, he wants to hold her. Um, excuse you. Um, what else? She is in size of three to six months. Uh, clothing and then six months in Carter's I feel like I feel like she's like a little chunker but I don't think I don't, I don't think she actually is I think she's pretty small but now at almost four months she is like 12 and a half pounds I don't know her height at all she loves her little play gym she likes spending time in there and looking at stuff she's starting to grab things and always bringing them to her mouth the th poor thing is teething uh, for sure um and the funny thing is jack just finally got in his last two canines and now we are starting teething all over again so she's in size two pampers um we use rascal and friends and the funny thing is is jack is in size three and she's in size two If I think of anything else, I'll add it in. Um, if I don't, well then I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, Lucy really needs to go to sleep and she will not fall asleep here.